As a substance designer artist, you know very well that substance graphs can contain a lot of nodes and that means a lot of connections. It can get messy pretty quick and hard to tell what is connected to what. You can use the dot node to help organize your graph. The dot node is great for routing connection lines for readability. We have updated the dot node to include this new portal functionality. This allows you to quickly access nodes from anywhere in your graph and greatly improves readability. So let's take a look at how it works. I have a node that has an output that is connected to several other nodes in the graph. So what I'm going to do here is do a quick search for portal and you'll notice that, well, only the dot node shows up again. This is because the portal node is a functionality of the dot node itself. So let's create a new dot node. Now I'm going to take the output from this node here, which is a multi switch grayscale. It has various inputs coming into it, which is basically showing different types of patterns. And then we have this output. So let's take the output and just plug this right here into the dot node. Now, if I select the dot node here in the parameters, you can see that I have this new capability to add an ID. Let's call it motif switch. So I'm going to set my name. And now I have this dot node named here with an ID. You'll notice that there is an input portal dropdown and right now nothing is connected to the dot node with an ID. So let's take care of that. We can leave this dot node here. As you'll see, this portal node functionality allows me to set up this wireless receiver so that I can route data from one node to the next. All right, so like I said, this node has several different connections. Let's go find some of these connections here in my graph. I'm gonna scroll down and I see that I have this output coming from the switch into this non-uniform grayscale into the grayscale and blur map inputs. So now I'm going to create another dot node. So now with this node selected, I can click the drop down and sure enough, there's the ID that I created previously. Well, let's use this and I have this new wireless receiver icon. It's letting me know that, hey, data is being routed from the motif switch dot node into this new dot node. Now, all I need to do is just make my connection and that is all that's needed. If I zoom out here in my graph, you can see that this allows me to send my data wirelessly from one node to the next. And you can see how visually this would greatly clean up the readability for my graph. Now, you'll notice here that I selected the dot node and this dotted line shows. So you can still select a node to quickly see where that connection is going to or coming from. And if you just click an empty area of the graph, we go back to that wireless receiver icon. Now, with this node here, I can also just reconnect this to any other place. I can even select the node. Let's just hit copy, control C, and let's find another location where I need to plug in my switch data. And here it's in the alpha or opacity input of this blend. So now I'll hit control V to paste the node, plug this in, click here in an empty area of the graph, and I can see that incoming data from that motif switch dot node is now being wirelessly received here for the blend in the opacity. So here you can see that I have gone ahead and set up a wireless transmission for all of these connection points from this multi-switch grayscale. And again, if I just click an empty area of the graph, I can view this wireless connection. Now we'll zoom out. And if we take a look at where we have this wireless receiver, this new portal functionality makes it super easy to make a very readable graph by hiding connection lines and routing data wirelessly from one node to another. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.